We're halfway through 2023 and I've decided to quit. Have you noticed that I haven't posted new content in a while? Unfortunately, that's because you won't be seeing new content from Fizar's Banging Recipes anymore. This is my final video on Fizar's Banging Recipes. If you're wondering why I am quitting my YouTube channel, then full screen this video as we have a lot to discuss. But this video isn't just about why I'm killing off Fizar's Banging Recipes. I will be making an announcement you don't want to miss, so stick around. the year of booming online recipes. That's when I started this YouTube channel. After years of ideation, it was during the COVID-19 pandemic when I posted the first Fizzaz Banging Recipes video. This channel was primarily a food and cooking channel. I've always wanted a cooking show of my own, so this was the perfect time. During this point of my life, I was living in Qatar and I filmed my recipe videos on mobile phones. It might have been a pretty good time to unleash my recipes to the World Wide Web as most of the world was locked down and people were at home having to cook and feed themselves. I also got requests to share my recipes of meals I was posting pictures of on my Instagram, which by the way, I will still be posting on so you can follow me there. However, it was painstakingly difficult for me to balance the time to create these videos while working full-time as a producer for Al Jazeera in Doha. Picture this, you work 10 to six all week, scripting and editing videos for work. Then you get home and script, film and edit again, but for a YouTube channel. And you do this on weekends too. Creating videos serially for a YouTube channel is extremely time consuming. I sometimes posted a recipe once or twice a week, but with my busy work and social life in Qatar, it wasn't sustainable. YouTube was a side thing. And that was perhaps why I wasn't growing. Seven months later, I resigned and left my very comfortable life and job. After working as an Al Jazeera producer for four years, I knew it was time for me as a creative to move on and create independently. I thought this is where I really make YouTube my full-time thing. And in 2021, that's when you saw me embark on a journey to Pakistan a country in South Asia that had recently become a magnet for white YouTubers. So I wanted to see what that was all about. I also wanted to explore the country's famous food and agriculture, but also something else close to my heart, the state of Azad Kashmir. Before there was a Pakistan, before the 1947 India-Pakistan partition, and even before the East India Company, there was a magical land called Kashmir. This is Pakistan. It looks like a dinosaur on the world map and located to the north of Pakistan across this dashed line, which means it's disputed territory, which means no one can decide who it belongs to. This is Kashmir right here. That's my ancestral land. It's also the ancestral land of 700,000 other Kashmiri Brits like me. It was finally time for me to do what I had aspired to since I was about 16 years old. Explore my roots and the history of my mystical Kashmir, which has a brutal history that continues today. During this self-discovery on the one hand, I was also churning out completely different content for my YouTube on the other, from neighboring Pakistan. I was living between Kashmir and Pakistan for 14 months and creating stunning content for you on my YouTube channel. Sounds like I was living the dream, but the algorithms didn't agree. Although I was posting videos at least once a week consecutively for a year, and my videos were quality, the views remained at a couple of thousand, my subscribers were less than 2,000, and overall the channel, though it was growing, it was at snail's pace. Yes, growing a YouTube channel takes time, and at this point, I had been working on the channel on and off for two years. Successful YouTube channels have a team to produce, film, and edit the videos. The quality of my content, I mean, it speaks for itself, even better than some successful YouTube channels out there. But I didn't have a team. It was just me, a one woman show. Apart from the filming, I was doing everything alone and this took over my life. It was extremely unhealthy. I was editing for 18 hours straight sometimes. I had no time to sleep. 
I had to miss meals because I didn't have time to cook and eat in order to reach my deadline, which was to film and get a video out at least once a week for 52 consecutive weeks. And I never took a day off. All this while traveling, catching flights, living out of a suitcase, hotel to hotel, getting coaches and rides. And all I got in return was a few subscribers and a few hundred views. It was not worth sacrificing my health. At first, YouTube was an outlet for me to create videos. I'm a creative and my well-being is dependent on me creating things. I go crazy if I don't create. Whether that's creating foods, creating videos, creating articles, creating rooms and houses, creating art. But this creative outlet soon led to the creative death of me. And ultimately, I burnt out. Putting out high production cooking and traveling videos at least once a week on YouTube every week as one person is a recipe for disaster. So I would take breaks, but these breaks were never long enough. I'd rest somewhat, but then travel and film the next chapter of YouTube content, then edit and start the whole posting once a week marathon again. In 2022, I traveled to five countries, four of which I created content for YouTube. That's when you saw me put out videos from Mauritius and Qatar for my where to eat during the World Cup series. Yeah, you're probably thinking that's just two countries, but I mentioned five. That's because lo and behold, I burnt out again. I returned to the UK at the end of 2022 and boy, did I need a break. I had been traveling for six years and I didn't realize how exhausted I was until this resting period. So this time I came home for good. Well, for now anyway. Come 2023, I couldn't even look at my editing software anymore. I have so much footage from the past two years, some extraordinary video ideas still lingering in my mind, a never ending list of videos I didn't get around to edit and a feeling of sadness that they didn't reach your screens because we made some banging stuff. So I did some soul searching and this one issue keeps popping up and that is my privacy. I'm a very private person, always have been, and I actually despise posting on social media. Call me old school, but not only do I feel it's very vain to show what you're doing at the most mediocre times, but more importantly, moments in my life are sacred to me. I've had some incredible experiences as well as crappy experiences, but they are for me to experience and no one else. The moment I share a picture or video of that something to the world, the value in it has decreased for me. It doesn't sit right in my heart to open doors to the world to look at my life. That's also why I don't have many vlogs on the channel. This is probably the opposite of what a YouTuber does. And that's when I came to the decision to kill Fizar's banging recipes. This YouTube channel is no more. Yet, the creative freedom to make a video however I like, with no creative restrictions, on whatever topic, on a platform such as YouTube, it's too glorious of an opportunity to pass. So, I'm not actually quitting YouTube, I'm changing it up. Cooking is great, I love food, and recipe development is always going to be one of my greatest passions. But right now on YouTube, I think I have something better to offer you guys. From now on, this is a new YouTube channel, simply called Fizza. That's me. Now, don't worry, you don't need to subscribe to another channel. The changes have been happening right under your nose. You might have noticed the name change of my YouTube channel. YouTube channels now have name handles like Instagram and Twitter. So mine is at Fizza. It's easier for you to search and type. Fizza is not a cooking or food travel video channel. It's actually something better for you videos that will help improve your quality of life. These videos will look like guides, explainers, recommendations, how-tos, do's and don'ts, and tutorials about topics in which I have experience, knowledge, and expertise. 
If you didn't know already, I'm a creative professional and journalist with an honours degree in broadcast journalism, and I have experience working for some of the largest news channels like BBC and Al Jazeera. In the past decade with my career and creative lifestyle, the universe has thrown me into the deep end of the media industry, food and agriculture, interior design, and health and well-being. Throughout this all, I have built a skill set based on acquired knowledge and experience that has improved my life, whether that be physically, materially, professionally, or mentally. And they're too good to be kept a secret, so I want to share them with you. You'll be learning things from how to decide which country to live in and why breakfast cereals are a scam, designing your optimal home office and industry secrets of video editing, script writing and presenting. And that's just scratching the surface. Wouldn't you want to develop important skills without signing up and paying for subscriptions so you can better your life for free? This channel is somewhere you come to gain value in your life. With a brand spanking new style and format from my new studio, I'll be sharing life improving knowledge you haven't seen anywhere else. For those of you who enjoy my recipes, don't worry. My old content will remain on the channel and I will be posting some new recipes, which you'll find on my cooking playlist. I'm so excited for this new journey that we are going to embark on because at such a depressing time when our basic cost of living is in crisis, healthcare is a shambles, governments and the media cannot be trusted, we must take the reins and better our lives and our community. No one is going to do it for you. You need to make that change. How do you do that? Through independent learning and action. And this channel is going to help you do just that. So the next time you see a video from my new YouTube channel, Fizzar, expect the unexpected and be prepared to take your life to the next level.